Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to the another episode of Getting Started with C Sharp. I'm Faisal, and today we will continue our previous video where we left. In the last video, we have shown how to create a new database and how to fetch the data from the database. In this video, I will do the insert, update, and delete commands or operations. So this is the latest code I have checked out from the uh, GitHub. You can see the link from our description of the YouTube video. So I'm going to create a method first to display the current students. So right click, refactor, extract. display students so it will display the students and I'm going to inline the variable something like this refactor okay next I will use the using keyword surround with using and I'm going to cut this part to here. Okay, so now it's quite better. So it is refactored. So now, what can I do? I will insert a new student. So let's show new student then I will show write name and just copy paste the other properties name address phone number and do I miss another any property name address phone fine so I'll create a blank student here and I'm going to store the property okay so the people will write any string into the console will directly be stored into students.name and I'm going to copy this line okay in this case it will have address and it will have phone number so in this line we have the full fledged student property or um, student object now let's insert it it's very easy you can see uh, the DB is the matching or mapping of the database and the context is holding the tables that means the context is mapping the whole student DB so if we click the students we will get the table of the students of here something like this these students will map with this student and if we press dot then we can see the other methods which are provided by the entity framework and link there are a lot of proper a uh, lot of functions you can explore but for this demo I'm going to add the student but after adding we need to save we need to save the changes so that's good enough Let's run it. Just for some sim simplicity, I'm removing every entry now. It's empty. Address jungle phone one two three. So this is the display, Mr. Fox, and it's done. Let's go to the database, 
check see the details already came now how about updating an entry so let's change it like update a student since we want to update that means the entry should already be in the database so we can change or uh, do this updating in many ways but uh, you will get the idea how can I do this so the ID of the student and the new properties of the student but you can see this line is adding a new entry so we will not use this instead what will we use is I already code for you is the code for updating that means we are attaching the non-tracked student a new student to the database so that it is attached then we are uh, asking that it is modified and change it so it will map whether any entry of the table has the ID of student ID and then change the other properties like name address and phone into the table so let's double check what was the ID the ID was 2 So to crow sky so it's done let's go to the database it is updated for example this student can become from the uh, another uh, window or another something like uh, whatever y y you like just you need to attach the student and update it with the new properties and the last one is delete is very easy of course we can do it in many ways uh, I'm just going to control C so DB dot students dot remove you can see it is taking a student entry so we will use the student and we will save the change so let's write it again in this case we don't need to add the other properties because we are deleting so the student ID should do well the ID is 2 let's check it 2 ok sorry forgot to attach ok so can see that we input the ID 2 and it is deleted the same process just we ins we replaced the entity state dot modified to entity state dot deleted then it is got deleted let's go to the database check it see there is no data right now so it's deleted so thus uh, we can easily perform the crude operation using the entity framework code first approach Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.